What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another full self-driving beta video. My name is Chris and today we are heading over to Monroe and Associates with Sandy Monroe and Corey Steuben and Eric and all those guys over there. And uh, I'm going to be on their podcast. They wanted me to come talk. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to talk about, but this video is not exactly about that, although I will link to their podcast channel below. I just want to take you on the drive over there and see if full self-driving beta can take us the full way um, on that route. So let me reset uh, this drive. Sometimes I forget to do that, but if I'm not going point to point, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, so it's 37 minutes, about 32 miles, and we're just gonna see if Beta can take us there. Most of it is actually highway, so it should be relatively simple, but we're on the new version 11 that has all the new highway stuff, and I do have some, com some complaints about that, which I, I will get to when we get there, but for now, you can see we're on the dirt roads, and Beta handles dirt roads pretty well. Uh, sometimes it can either go a little too slow or a little too fast. Of course, a lot of that is personal preference, but also sometimes it'll attempt to go too fast when really it shouldn't. Um, and the other big complaint for unmarked roads like this one is it doesn't seem very good at detecting exactly where the edge of the road is. And we may see it with this vehicle up here, although this part's pretty wide, in that Beta will, so you can see we're slowing down, you know, a decent amount. So that was actually fine, but uh, this is really wide. When it gets a little thinner, even if there's plenty of room for both cars to go by, Beta will kind of like pull off and just stop, even though there's tons of room. And uh, where I would just, you know, fly right by. Now, I try to put that in perspective of, let's say you've never been on this road. I actually do see people do that sometimes when I, if I'm driving manually on the dirt roads, uh, they will do the exact same thing that Beta does, where they will kind of move off to the side and then, um, wait <laughs> until the car passes by even when there's plenty of room so uh, maybe beta is just being extra preca uh, precautious and then you'll see like here it's like way too close to the side of the road maybe i'm just uh, nitpicking a little too much but like that portion was a little too close to the edge for me especially when you have a drop off so yeah let's just see how the car does we're still on 11.3.6 11.4 is on employee vehicles right now no idea when that's coming to more people but it is on a 2023 branch instead of 2022 so hopefully that'll be coming soon all right so first up this pretty difficult left turn here it's really hard to see in both directions and in the past this is something beta just pretty much wouldn't do uh, often it would actually ask for help it would say uh, please complete maneuver or whatever that message was but i haven't seen that message in a long time now i can see both directions and we're clear and the car very nicely pulls out there. Now, I would be leaving that with a little more oomph because people are going 50, 60, maybe even more miles per hour on this road. Uh, but of course, when no one's there, it doesn't matter. But in case someone's coming up really quick, uh, you wanna just kinda get out of the way, but handled very nicely. So we'll see this blinking yellow here. They've been hit or miss for me in version 11. Tiny little bit of braking, and then the car decides, oh, okay, it's not, it's not red, it's not uh, yellow turning to red. I can continue there, so handled okay. All right, decently easy right turn here. So we do have the blinking red with the stop sign. Doesn't seem to confuse the car or anything. It'll make the complete stop even though there is no painted line. It pretty much makes it at the sign. Um, we do have some vehicles coming, but that one is turning right. Wow, I'm surprised at, at that turn there. I thought Beta definitely would have waited uh, for those cars because yeah, they have their turn signal on, but Beta is usually pretty scared of approaching vehicles. And um, it knew that it had enough speed to get in front of them. It was actually a really good maneuver. It felt really human-like. All right, so this three-way stop sometimes confuses the car just because there's a few stop lines painted. There's two separate stop lines. Um, we need to stop at this one, and the car does that. It's gonna make a complete stop, and nobody's here, and then it should go. Oh my goodness, are you gonna do it or what? <laughs> uh, it is taking forever, and uh, buddy, that is just so awkward. So that. You know, so it was like safe, there's nobody around, but I would call that terrible, uh, especially because there's somebody behind me. So they're probably like, what is this guy doing? There's zero cars anywhere. And he's just not going through the stop sign. He's simply not moving. And it's just not a good look. I'm actually gonna click this little report button. Um, 
And for some comments I have gotten, you know, people are saying, oh, make sure you, you know, actually disengage so you can do the voice note. Of course, in my normal driving, that's, you know, what I do in those situations. I would press the accelerator and then just turn the wheel and then give a little voice report of why I did that uh, because the car just took forever. And I, I think sometimes on video, it's not as apparent. You're like, okay, what? The car stopped and went. But we sat there a long time uh, for there being no other vehicles around. And beta for the win right here, you got the police making sure everybody's going the speed limit and beta, unless you mess with it, is always going to do that. Uh, so uh, I, I don't speed here normally because it's a downtown, it's not very safe, but there are a couple of times where, you know, places I normally would be speeding, when I use beta, I'm just kind of like, yeah, I don't care, like let the car do its thing. And then I'll pass cop and I'll be like, oh, hey, <laughs> I, think I was letting beta do its thing because uh, I might have gotten a ticket there. So coming up to this stop sign, again, not a whole ton of traffic right now, but this is, it's just kind of difficult to see to the right. Uh, so let me expand that for you. If I put this, you can see the car's not seeing very far because there's a building in the way. And as we creep out, you'll probably see that fill in. And there's nobody there, so it can continue through. And bam, as soon as it kind of is sure, it really takes off there. So that's what I would have wanted at that stop sign back there, is you make your complete stop. I, I, I don't you know like it, but that's fine. I'm fine with the car doing that. And then you look around, there's nobody there, and then take off. Whereas what uh, the car did at that triple stop sign is it stopped, and then it kind of went and kind of stopped, and kind of went and kind of stopped, and then finally slowly moved through. Um, so that right turn was much better in terms of uh, how it felt. All right, so here's a school speed zone uh, until 8.40. So we're out of that, and the car does ignore that sign. Uh, I don't think it would obey it in the correct times, but I don't want to say that for sure because uh, we're not in the correct times. So. All right, so end speed zone. This is one the car cannot see, and bam, the speed limit is now 55, and the car is not changing. So I'm gonna up that, so that'll be an intervention. Uh, the car is not driving the correct speed limit here. One thing that's funny that I'm noticing as the speed went up back there, so we went from 30 to, to uh, 35 to 45, Beta very quickly adjusts to that new speed to the point where we are pulling away from the cars behind us, uh, but then after a minute or so, the cars behind us then catch up and really tailgate me because they expect me to be speeding here. It's just everyone goes really fast here. Uh, so it's just funny to see that Beta adjusts to the new speed before them and does a better job of that, but then they want to go faster later. <laughs> I don't know, it's just kind of an interesting thing that I notice. So when you're going faster, the car, as you can see, is a little more annoying about the, the nags. So Elon did say they were uh, reducing them as uh, safety increases, so maybe you go longer in between nags. But when you're going a faster speed, like six miles per hour, or when you're on the highway going full speed, you can see they're a lot more frequent. Whereas when you're going maybe 20 miles an hour, or I've really noticed if you're stuck in rush hour traffic, uh, the car will nag you much. I mean, you can go a couple minutes without a nag when you're in like bumper to bumper. 
it's uh, actually pretty cool. So getting onto the highway here, here is one of uh, the, <laughs> it's so funny because version 11 introduced highway beta and one of the worst parts about it is merging onto the highway. So we'll see how the, the car does. If, you know, as you can kind of see with most of this drive, if there's nobody around, if there's no vehicles, beta does very well. And especially because then it can be a little awkward. It can be a little robotic. It doesn't matter. Nobody's interacting with the car. So it's, it's still cool in my opinion that, you know, we have a car that can pretty much drive you A to B uh, with supervision uh, if nobody's around. <laughs> uh, now, when cars get involved, it's a little different. So here, we should be going 70 already. Like, we should be going 70, like, right now. And I've gotten comments. Uh, I'll address that in a second. So here we go. We're merging on. And, okay, since there was nobody there, it was okay. But there's no turn signal. You need a turn signal. And the car is not, uh, some people have said, that's zipper merging. You wait till the end of the lane, and then you get over. Maybe that's technically what you're supposed to do, but that's not what the car is doing. The car is basically in that lane and it's like, oh, my lane squished to nothing. I have no choice but to move over in this direction. That's pretty much what's happening uh, with that merge that it's doing. So I'm really surprised to see changing into faster lane here. That is well before whatever's ahead of us we need to interact with. And it's really annoying because the cars in this lane and in the left lane are going faster than 70, which, you know, makes sense. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not a big deal because they still have a passing lane to the left of us, but I definitely would have stayed in the right lane much longer to stay out of the way of other traffic. But even with my complaining and nitpicking, I will say Beta did a beautiful job of detecting the speed of this truck in front of us because it obviously knew they were going slower than we were and it preemptively, uh, very early on, moved over to get around them. Now we are in the assertive setting, setting so that's probably a big part of uh, why it moved over so early. Uh, assertive really has to do with follow distance and how uh, much it will change lanes to pass lower traffic. Uh, what I would love to see after we pass the semi is to move to the right to get out of these faster two lanes, but I don't imagine the Tesla's going to do that. Well, you know what? I will say so far, this uh, middle lane decision has been very good. We still have people who can pass on the left, of course. Uh, we've had a couple people pass on the right, and I know someone in the comments is going to complain no matter what lane I'm camping, so that's fine. Uh, <laughs> it's just, if you're a Michigander watching this, you know how excruciating it is to be going 70 on I-75. It's just, it's just not the way. Just not the way people do it. But uh, the car's handling it really well, and then it also doesn't have to deal with people merging on from the right side. So it's made a good decision here. I didn't interfere with it in any way. This is where it decided it wanted to be. And you know what? I do myself kind of like the middle lane for the same reasons, uh, especially when there's, you know, four lanes. But even in three lanes, this is a nice lane to be in. So the car's doing a good job. We got some nice snow in <laughs> April, uh, end of April snow. Um, and yeah, so far, I mean, it's just been perfectly smooth. We haven't had any issues. This is a really nice highway drive so far. All right, so my complaints are pretty much getting onto the highway and then sometimes the ending portion. Now, taking exits is usually pretty good, but you can see here we have 0.4 miles and the car is now getting over, which is fine. But as you can imagine, when it's very busy on the highway and there's lots of traffic, maybe not the best decision. Maybe you should be getting over a little earlier. I have had times uh, just in my own daily driving where I've needed to take over because the car was not going to get over because it waited too long and there was too much traffic. So that was a beautiful, smooth uh, highway drive. 100% of that highway was, I would say, pretty much perfect. That was very nice. The other complaint that I will share that did not happen on this drive for highway is sometimes as, as the car's approaching an exit, it will slow down um, to five or, 
usually five miles uh, below the speed limit, five miles per hour below the speed limit. Uh, and that is not really appropriate while you're still on the highway. Now, if you need to do that for you know a sharper turn or something, of course, but it seems to do it even when it's not necessary and then traffic behind you is like, why are you going 65 and the speed limit is 70? Uh, so that's not always the best decision. So again, a beautiful move uh, off the highway here. I didn't notice a turn signal. Uh, I'm not too fussed about it there, but I think technically it should be using it. And we're actually almost there. We have one minute left, uh, half a mile. And this is going to be a pretty phenomenal drive, uh, at least so far. I only intervened one time to change the speed, and that is it. All right, so we got the green, and we're moving forward. And are you going to go through this yellow? No, you're not. I definitely would have went through that yellow, but that's just me. I'm not not complaining about the car, just uh, sharing sharing my, my thoughts. Oh, we got a blinking yellow. Oh, even better. I'm glad you waited. Okay, don't move to the left. Now you're going to get it. Wow, you're still moving forward. That is awesome. That is actually awesome. Now you got to do it. Wow, okay, cool. No, that's great. Oh, don't stop. What the? <laughs> All right, I got to press the accelerator. <laughs> okay, that was awful. <laughs> I go from that was great to that was awful. So a pretty beautiful drive. And you know, that always happens. I'm like, oh, this drive's so nice. And then it gets ruined at the end there. Um, <laughs> so two interventions, um, an accelerator press right there and uh, a speed change near the beginning. Very nice right turn here. And this is pretty much it. It's gonna take us just up here on the road. And you know what? Pretty fast, pretty easy drive, but this is what I wanted to show you guys. You know, I do the challenging routes, which we will definitely continue in the future, but using this system, uh, just on normal daily driving, it's actually very, very capable. Um, I still don't think most people, so it's going to end here and I need to turn here. Um, I still don't think most like normal quote unquote people would be all that thrilled to be using it. But once you get used to it, once you kind of adapt to the way it works, um, it works very well and, and requires kind of minimal, minimal intervention, but still lots of, um, lots of, uh, oversight so let's see if we can do this auto park here and i do have a little thing over my camera which i will probably share yeah it aborted it um i will probably share that eventually am i driving now what are you doing no okay uh <laughs> i'll probably share that eventually but i'm not surprised it gave up on that because i have a little thing on my camera but anyway i hope you enjoyed this one uh, and check out the link for their podcast channel down below i'm sure you're already subscribed to their main channel and you will see me and full self driving beta in the next video